Okay, so basic integration exercises. Okay, let's evaluate the following integrals. Okay, number one, the integral of uh, x cubed minus 4x dx. Okay, in this integral, we will use the uh, power formula. Okay, let's uh, write the uh, power formula. The integral of u to the n du is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, provided that n is not equal to negative 1. Okay? The power is 3 and 1. So, okay lang. Not equal to negative 1. So, we can use the power formula. So, for the solution, the integral of x cubed minus 4x dx. Pwede natin distribute yung dx. So, this will be equal to the integral of x cubed dx minus the integral of 4x dx. Okay? Then, apply the power formula. So, this is equal to x raised to 3 plus 1. So, 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus c. So, may natin sumulat yung c, no? Minus 4, constant. So, 4 times x raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus c. So, pwede natin sumulat. c plus c is c din, no? So, constant plus constant is another constant. So, c na lang. Then, simplify. So, we have x raised to 4 over 4 minus 4 over 2 or 2 x raised to 2 or x squared, no? Plus c. And this is the final answer. Okay? So, madali lang. Okay, let's have another number 2. So, let's try this, no? Uh, integral of 3x squared plus 2x cubed dx. Okay? By power formula pa rin, no? So, this is equal to the uh, integral of 3x squared dx plus the integral of 2x cubed dx. So, this is equal to constant 3x squared Okay, plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Okay, plus C. Plus 2x raised to 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus C. So, C plus C is another constant. So, plus C. So, this is equal to 3 over 3, which is 1. So, x raised to 3. Plus 2 over 4 or 1 half times x raised to 4 plus c. And this is the final answer. No? Okay? Yes. Very easy. Okay, let's have another example. Number 3. Let's try uh, quantity integral of 10 x raised to 4 minus 2x squared plus 3 dx. Okay? So, pwede rin natin gamitin dito yung uh, power formula and the other basic integration formula. So, yung anti-differentiation natin. That is the du, integral of du equals u plus c. Okay? So, yung constant times du. So, ito yun, eh, 3dx. No? So, pwede natin siyang i-distribute as, or i write as like this. No? 10x raised to 4 dx minus the integral of 2x squared dx plus the integral of 3 dx. So, this is now equal to, so, negative 1. Wala namang power na negative 1. So, the power formula is applicable. No? Okay, applicable dito sa two terms na to. Itong isa naman is constant times the derivative of x. Okay? So, ito yung isang basic integration formula. Okay? So, we have 10 x 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 plus c, okay, minus 2 times x raised to 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 3 times 
dx. Or recall that um, the integral of the integral of uh, a du is equal to a u plus c. So ganun lang constant times u, na plus c. So dito we have three dx. The integral of dx is x. So three x plus c. Okay. Don't forget to write the c. Then we simplify. So this is equal to ten over five is two. 2x raised to 5, okay, minus 2 over 3, 2 thirds, x raised to 3 plus 3x plus c. And this is the final answer. Okay? Easy. Okay, number 4. Uh, the integral of uh, 7 minus 2x minus x raised to 5 dx. Okay? So, this is equal to uh, integral of 7 dx minus the integral of 2x dx minus the integral of x to the 5 uh, dx. Okay? There. So, this is equal to constant dx of so 7x minus 2 x squared over 2 minus x raised to 6 over 6 plus c. So this is equal to 7x minus x squared minus 1 6 times x raised to 6 plus c. Answer. Very easy. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sige, isa pa. Number five. How about this? The integral of dz over c cubed. Okay? So, paano ito? So, is the uh, power formula applicable in this integral? Hmm. Okay, pwede. So, if we rewrite this integral as, uh, itaas natin itong uh, c cubed no? sa numerator. So, we have z raised to minus 3 dz. So, ang condition natin sa power formula is that n is not equal to minus 1. Negative 3 yan. So, pwede. Okay? We can use or we can apply the power formula. Di ba? Di ba? Oh, yes. So, sige, sulat natin. So, recall. Uh, power formula ulit, no? The integral of u to the n du is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay? So, dito, yung u is yung z. n is minus 3. Okay? And the derivative of du, o yung derivative ng, ng uh, u, or du, is u. Derivative of z or derivative of z is z. Oh, sorry. Derivative of z is dz. Yon. Derivative of u is du. So, wala tayong i-add. Oh. Okay? Wala tayong i-balance dyan. So, applicable yung power formula. Okay? So, madali lang. So, this is equal to the integral of, say, raised to 3 dz. So, rewrite ko lang. So, this is equal to z raised to minus 3 plus 1 over minus 3 plus 1 plus c. Simplify. So, we have z or z raised to minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 over uh, minus 2. Okay? Plus c. Or, this is equal to uh, pwede natin itong ibaba. Eh, no? Gawin natin positive. So, minus 1 half 1 half z squared plus c. Okay? So, yun na yung ating final answer. Okay? Negative 1 over 2 z squared plus c. Yep. Okay, another number 6. How about this? Uh, integral of d or 3 dy over y raised to 4. Okay? So, parehas lang, no? 
the uh, power formula is also applicable. So, pwede natin siyang rewrite as the integral of uh, 3 times y raised to minus 4 dy. Okay, constant, tapos y raised to minus 4. Yes, applicable yung power formula. Okay, constant, lalabas lang naman natin ito, ano? Derivative of y is dy. So, okay lang. Pwede natin itong gamitin. Recta na, no? Diretso. So, this is equal to 3 times y raised to minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 over minus 3 plus c equals minus y raised to minus 3 plus c or minus 1 over y raised to 3 plus c. Easy. Very easy. Yep. Okay. Number 7. Okay. Sige. Pahirap ng pahirap ito. Or padali ng padali. Okay. The integral of uh, sige, quantity squared of x minus x over 3 plus 2 over square root of x dx. Okay? So, pwede natin i-distribute din yung mga dx dyan, no? And yung integral sign. So, we have the integral of square root of x dx minus the integral of x over 3 dx plus the integral of 2 over square root of x dx. Okay? So, mga radical to. So, pwede natin tong isulat as x raised to 1 half dx minus etong constant to 1 third, pwede natin itong ilabas. No? Ilabas natin. So, 1 third, the integral of, or times the integral of x dx. Ito naman is x raised to 1 half. Nasa denominator, pwede rin natin siyang itaas. Plus, the integral of 2 times x raised to minus 1 over 2 dx. Do you follow? Yes, madali lang, no? Okay. Uh, let's use the power formula. Tingnan muna natin. Yung bang n, the power, is equal to negative 1. If n is equal to negative 1, the power formula is not applicable. Okay? Meron ba? So, 1 half. Meron dito 1. Negative 1 half. Walang negative 1 half. Uh, or negative 1, sorry. Walang negative 1. So, okay. Applicable. Okay, so x or the integral of x raised to 1 half dx is x raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1 plus c. Okay, minus 1 third x 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. Okay, para elementary, no? Plus 2 times x raised to minus 1 half plus 1 over minus 1 half plus 1 plus c. C plus c plus c, another c, another constant. So, c lang din yan, constant, no? Equals, simplify. So, we have x raised to 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. Okay, 3 halves over 3 halves. Minus 1 third. So, meron ditong 2. So, 1 over 6 x squared. Okay? Plus 2. Ano to? 2. Yung over is 1 half. No? Over 1 half or magiging 4 na to. O, lagay na lang natin. 1 half. Then x raised to positive 1 half. Okay? Plus c. Sige. Simplify. So, we have here equals 2 thirds x raised to 3 halves. Minus 1 over 6, x squared, plus 4, x raised to 1 half, plus c. Or ang gusto mong radical, pwede rin. Or pwede na itong final answer. Okay? Yes. Very easy. Very easy pa din, di ba? Very easy pa rin. Basta nasusundan, walang problema yan. Okay? Next. Okay, number 8. Let's try this, no? The uh, integral of quantity 
1 over 2u squared minus 3 times u raised to 3 over 2. Okay? Minus 2 times u raised to 5 over 3 du. Okay? So, paano gagawin natin dito? Sige, equals. So, equal to the integral of 1 half or 1 half u squared du minus the integral of 3u raised to 3 over 2 du minus the integral of 2 over 3u raised to 5 du. Okay. So, here, so we have, labas natin 1 half, 1 half times the integral of Itong u squared, nasa denominator, itas natin. So, u raised to minus 2 du. Labas natin dito yung 3. So, 3 times the integral of u raised to 3 over 2 du. Labas natin yung 2 thirds times the integral of u raised to 5 du. And use the power formula. Okay? Meron bang n equals minus 1? Wala. So, the power formula is applicable. Okay. So, minus or equals. Equals 1 half times u. Okay. U minus 2 plus 1. That is negative 1. Okay. Minus 1. Negative 1 over negative 1. Okay. So, then, so minus 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Yung denominator niyan is negative 1 then. Minus 3. Okay, so 3 times u. Okay, 3 halves plus 1. Ilan yun? So, lagay na lang natin, 3 halves plus 1. So, 1 and 1 half plus 1. So, 2 and 1 half. So, ilan yun? 2 and 1 half. So, magiging 5 over, 5 over 2. No? 5 over 2. Okay. So, sige, mamaya na lang. So, 3 halves over, or 3 halves plus 1. Okay. Minus 2 thirds, 2 thirds times u raised to uh, 6 over 6 plus c. Don't forget the c, okay? So, simplify. So, we have here equals negative 1 half. Ibaba na natin tong u kasi negative 1 yan. So, gawin natin positive, lagay natin sa denominator. So, negative 1 half u, Okay? Minus, so ilan ito? Tama ba ito? So, 1 and 1 half plus 1 is 2 and 1 half. Tama ba? Yeah. <laughs> Nalito na. So, 2 and 1 half, so ilan to 5 over, 5 over 2. Okay? 5 over 2. Sige. So, 3 times u time, or raised to 5 over 2 over 5 over 2. Minus, so ilan ito? Cancel. Naging 3 na lang. 3 times 3 is 1 over 9. U raised to 6 plus C. Okay? Isa pa. Simplify pa natin. So, minus 1 over 2 U. Minus, uh, so tataas yung 2, no? So, 3 times 2, that's 6. 6 times U raised to 5 over 2 over 5. Minus 1 over 9 times U raised to 6 plus C. Now, this is the Final answer. Okay? Yes? Yes.